Hey guys, I'm back, and today's review is on The Book Thief. It was uh, one of the sadder books. So I just finished reading The Book Thief, like, yesterday, and after I finished it, I needed to kind of take another day before I made the review to get my thoughts and feelings in order, because this is one of the more challenging books I've read this year. Not, not because of the wording and not because of complexity of sentence structure, just because it was very different. It was most unusual. It was possibly one of the more original things I read. I keep complaining that I keep reading the same books that have love triangles and predictable protagonists and I get a hold of this and it's totally different and it kind of threw me off. Basically, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak is about a young girl named Lysel. In the beginning of the book, Lysel is traveling with her mother and her younger brother on a train and they are headed towards their new home for Lysel and her younger brother where her mother's going to leave them with some foster parents to get better care and they are in they're living in Nazi Germany so there's basically the Holocaust but all from a little girl's perspective so you kind of get the in innocence and the they're confused and they don't understand what's going on and they describe what they say but if you know anything about the Holocaust you know exactly what's happening in the scenarios, and mostly it just sort of follows Lysel. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how I pronounced it the entire time I read it, so I can't really stop now. I'll get it right if I ever watch the movie, which after reading the book I don't know if I will, because reading the book was hard enough. It was sad. Don't read this book if you're not a fan of uh, any kind of sad endings. Sorry, I'm petting my cat right now. She's kind of in the way. If you're not a fan of sad endings, don't read this, because it wasn't a complete picnic, and uh, don't worry about spoilers either, because halfway through the book, the narrator, who is Death, actually spoils it for you. He tells you who dies and who doesn't, basically. It kind of threw me off. Very, very nonchalant about it, too. I liked the book. It was very poetic, the way the things Death described things was just very picturesque and very beautiful and... I don't know, just different. It makes you kind of stop and think and feel. And it took me a lot longer to finish this book than it has for me to finish other books because at certain points this like sensory input was too much and I kind of had to put it down, step back, do some other things, come back the next day and delve back in for another hundred pages or so. But uh, Death narrates the story and he's kind of not happy with his job. Kind of tells you, you get a view of Lysel but you also get what's happening all throughout Germany as he travels from place to place collecting souls, but mostly it just focuses on the book thief and her journey and her life, and the book thief is kind of a misleading title. I thought this was going to be some sort of fantasy adventure about stealing books back for the poor people or something, and that wasn't what it was at all, so just to make that clear to everybody. I apparently don't know much about books before I pick them up. I just read the title and part of the back, and then I'm like, oh, that looks good, and then I just take it home with me. Yeah, it made an impact. This one's going to stick with me for a while, especially that ending. I'm not going to give away spoilers. I'm not death, but uh, a lot to take in. I can't... The book is very um, roundabout, very random. It doesn't have a storyline aside from just sort of following Lysel and her moving into her new foster parents' home. So, the characters were all very well done, the characters were very thought out, very fleshed out, they seemed sort of like real people to you by the end of the book, and you kind of knew a lot of the people in her small town by name for things that they'd done in the town, so it was almost like you were living in the town with them as she grew up for however many years long this book follows her, I think it's several, several years it kind of follows her, and growing up in that town and making friends and getting to know people, and I'm not going to mention a lot of character names, because I don't want to. I don't know. It's like 12 o'clock at night. I had to wait for everybody to go to bed before I made this review. I don't have a whole lot to say about the book, aside from what I've already said, but I really want this review to feel like it contains something. But it's kind of hard to do reviews without spoiling books, because you already know what happens, and you can't remember anymore how much the book jacket actually gave away. And then you reread it, and then you try to make a video about it. And I'm rambling, and I know I'm rambling, but I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop making this video because as soon as I do, I know that means I have to sit down and edit this video. And I hate that. I hate that a lot. The only reason I even make reviews is because I'm hoping someone who doesn't read a lot 
maybe Desiree Delat will stumble across it and find something else that they'd like to add to their to-be-read list. <sighs> I think I got everything, but I'm sure as soon as I stop rolling, I'm going to remember something, and I'm not going to want to turn the camera back on and re-record it, so. Book was the book thief. It was very sad. I'm still messed up about it, but I'll get over it eventually, maybe. I don't know. No promises. Thanks for watching. Sorry I'm depressing, but I am still screwed up over this book, so. Yeah, if you don't like sadness or getting attached to people only to have them ripped away, don't read this book. But if you do enjoy that and you like beautiful sentence structure and a different way of doing things, and you like, you know, having your heart broken and actually feeling for the characters, then yeah, go for it. Read the book. That's what it did to me. So, thanks for watching. Bye.